Hi fellow traders. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I know I'm enjoying this beautiful weather we're having here in South Carolina. It's going to get ugly here um, and for a couple days, but enjoying this weekend, enjoying this weather while we have it. Um, but before we get into anything, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of your support through this transition. I had no idea that this was going to grow the way it's grown, the way it's grown. Um, you know, when I was pretty much forced out of my former home, I had no idea what I was going to do. I never really had the intention of starting my own community, but as I sat there and thought about it, I realized I was leaving a lot of people there that came because I was a part of the room and a part of that community. And so I, I really felt I needed to do something to help these guys to help you out. And that's how this came about. And the support you've given me has been phenomenal. Even though there's been roadblocks for some of you to try to find me, you know, you were resourceful and you guys found me and I know I'm glad, I know you're glad and we're just going to keep growing and, and building this together because one thing that you're going to find, nobody is going to outwork me. Um, they may make more money than me or whatever they make they may make more videos than me they may have more classes than me but nobody's gonna outwork me in terms of providing you guys what you need to be successful that's my number one priority and obviously you can tell by my pricing that it's not about the money you know all I want to do is be able to keep the doors open so that I can help as many of you as, as possible so I can't thank you enough for everything that you've given me all the support that you've given me and all of the emails that I've received even from people who can't come yet you know it, it's, it's just been an amazing amazing experience so thank you um, I've got a we're gonna talk about a couple of trades that we took this week you know obviously I can't cover all of them we'd be here for over an hour but there are two solid trades that we took this week that I kind of want to talk about uh, but before I do if you're not a part of our chat room I want to introduce that to you it's a day trading education chat room my focus is on education and that's why I stream my trading platform live. You get, you see my trading platform live all day. Now, if I nail a good trade and I've got some good profits, I'm going to shut it down. You know, I will take my platform offline and I won't trade anymore. And I will tell you guys, you know, we, we nailed it. We got all this money locked in. We got all this profit locked in. There's no need to trade the, the afternoon. You know, no need to. We're in account growing mode, and that's what I'm focusing on. Trying to help you who are under the PDT to develop a process so that you can grow your account and get out from under that as quickly as possible. But during this, you have to learn the skill of trading. You have to develop your skill. And that's my focus, trying to get you to develop that skill so that you can be a self-sufficient and independent trader. That you don't need to come to the room to get reassurance that you're looking at the right stocks, that you're making the right moves. You know, you're going to develop that for yourself. That's our number one priority. Now, you're looking at, this is the yearly subscription but we do have a monthly subscription. I know there are some that want to try it out for a month to see if it's for them. And that's great. We have that option available.
but the good thing is you can always upgrade you can start with the month and you know you want to upgrade then you can upgrade to the yearly subscription and all you need to do is pay the difference and we have that option right there you don't you won't even have to contact me you can go right on the website and upgrade on your own but if you upgrade to the yearly you save over 50 percent in your monthly subscription fees because if you get it by monthly you're only paying a little bit over um 30 bucks a month versus 69 dollars a month so it's it's an incredible deal I feel like I said we're not trying to get rich we're trying to provide a service and to help you guys become self-sufficient and you'll see two of these trades that we took this week and these are just two trades now we did have other trades where we made some decent money on but these two trades would have more than paid for your yearly subscription all right, so what do you get for it? you get access to our trading education chat room and this is what it looks like um, obviously this is expanded through the whole window but you've got my sure trader platform here I'm trading out of sure trader like most of you would have to trade if you're under the PDT that's where you'd be trading and it is possible to get out from under them you know I did it and that's what I'm trying to show you that it is possible yeah the fees are high but you have to take that into account and in the consideration when you're trading you get my scans stream live all day this is the platform that you see up we've got live news up top we've got my scan streaming and probably around 11 or so I'll cut Benzinga on I try to filter out all the noise in the morning because we already have our watch list set and we're we're trading our watch list the worst thing you can do is start chasing stocks at the open not being prepared so we don't do that we focus on our watch list once we've exhausted it then we start looking to the scans and we start listening to the news Um, the daily recap videos I'm planning on starting them back in March this like I said this thing grew and blew up bigger than I anticipated we have over 180 members now and my number one goal is to make sure you guys get what you need and are getting what you need out of this service so I've had to put doing my videos on hold so that I can make sure I take care of of the members but those will be coming back um, you have access to the small group mentorships they're gonna start in March as well and they'll be focused on the subjects that you guys send to me you tell and I try to get everybody together who wants to focus on this one subject and it may be 15 or 20 people together in a small group and then you know another week I'll do another subject that's what another group of traders wanted to talk about and I'll bring you guys together so we have these small group mentorship meetings where we're addressing your specific needs um, and you also have access to private study groups and just give you an idea of what this looks like this is a screenshot of a a private study group meeting on I think these guys meet on Thursday nights you have access to the room I mean we're paying for this room for 24-hour access unlimited access so why not utilize it after the market if we can so you've got the ability to form small study groups you get a group of like-minded traders together and you can come on here you have presenter access so you can use the microphone you can use screen share 
the whiteboard, video player, whatever you want to use, you have access to it to make your study session the best. And I do have two or three right now that are meeting. And the traders that are meeting in these groups say it has made all the difference in the world. It helps them. Not only do they have me during the day, but they get to meet and they get to um, interact with each other. And the only time I'm there is if I'm asked to come. I open up the room. So obviously, I'm going to be, my name is going to be here, but I'm not here watching them. Unless they summon me or they have a question, you know, and if I'm home, I'll come and do it. But this is, this is, I think, one of the best things that you can do. Being a teacher, I know how important having study groups are when you're trying to learn something new and having your peers there and in discussion group makes a, a whole lot of difference so you know you have access to that and then I do one live class a week on Wednesdays um, usually runs about 90 minutes um, I've covered my trading strategies uh, talked about level two the last class now when you join you have access to those classes you'll be able to go back and watch the recordings and then you'll have access to the ones the live ones every week so not everybody can attend live so they, they can watch the recordings all right so that's it with my tated with my um about my chat room if you want or have any questions feel free to email me at ed at averagejoetrader.com I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have so let's go also on every morning starting at 8 30 I'm building my watch list live you can go to my website averagejoetrader.com and you can watch it right there there's a window on the home page when I go live you just expand it and you'll be right there or you can go on my YouTube channel um, either way the easiest is just to go to the website and wait for the screen to go live and then just expand it and you're there but every day from 8 30 to 9 um, I'm building my watches on YouTube All right, we have Sneak Peek Wednesday. That's where you get to spend an hour, the first hour of the trading day, watching me and watching me and interact in the chat room. You, the stream, the live stream you see will be the actual platform that's streamed in chat. Now, due to privacy of my members, I'm not going to stream my chat window. I'm just going to stream the platform that they see in chat and you'll hear me answering their questions you'll hear me talking about my trades um, you'll see me enter and exit my trades and I think every Wednesday um, I have had trades that I was able to enter now some of them I was still in I've taken some profit but I would still be in a trade when I have to sign off but you get this a good feel for what goes on in the room and the interaction that we have now like everything else in the afternoons things slow way down the volatility is down so we're not as active in the afternoon I'm still there you know I take my lunch break and I I try to get everybody to take a break and go do their lunch you need to take a break and walk away from this for 30 45 minutes to an hour you don't want to sit here staring at these charts all day so I take my lunch in the afternoon things are pretty quiet now will it always be that way no that you know the markets gonna pick up they're gonna be days where we're volatile and we have opportunities all day but right now we're just in that cycle where it is slow <clears throat> so that 
on sneak peek Wednesdays you can just go to my website and again at 8 30 the window will pop up the live stream will, stream will pop up you can open the window up and I'm just gonna I'm not gonna go off at 9 o'clock on Wednesday I'm just gonna keep it running and you'll be there until about 10 30 and that's about the time I sign off all right so let's look at a couple of trades we made this week um, I think this was Thursday this week was a short week um, so Thursday we had um, WB now we missed the first move on this we missed the first move we see it starting to roll over pre-market and I, I kind of didn't want to get in this a lot of times you see us in these trades pre-market and we're waiting for this opening flush but I didn't have this this wasn't my primary watch this was on like a secondary watch which is why I missed the first move and I waited for a bounce and I took took the move so I traded the bounce here waited for it again I missed this little move because I was waiting for it to touch the nine moving average I like these to go back hit the moving average so I can take it down I missed that so I waited and patience is something that we focus on in the room being patient waiting for the setup now just like everybody else I jump in something a little early um, yeah I'll talk about what I did yesterday in a minute um, but we waited got in here on this other little bounce where we tested it and took profit here and here got back in again on this test and fail um, took profit here and got a little greedy and didn't didn't take profit when we hit this level here I waited ended up getting stopped out as we lost the nine here and then as we were rejecting it I got back in and then got the move down you can see I covered three times and that was it you know the move was over here this was into one o'clock so this day we were pretty active until you know one o'clock I missed the morning move but we still nailed this now just imagine how much I would have made if I had got the two big moves you know we we would have had probably eight nine hundred dollars I'm only trading 200 shares as you can see 200 shares and I'm scaling out 100 50 50 or if I get in and I get my first cover and then I get stopped out is 200 100 100 so realize gains we made 435 that day so I know what some of you are saying well you trading with sure traders so you, you know you probably only made half of that or you, you know it cut deeply into your commissions okay yeah fees are high as sure trader but here's the breakdown of all of my executions and my commissions so after commissions we made 37379 from 435 to 373.79 that's not bad that is not bad at all and what you want to do is lock in these lock in these now I have more trades this day to this day I think I ended up making about 500 bucks to um, Thursday and there's no way you can say that you can't make money with sure trader all this is is trading and using the skill that I try to teach every day the same skill the same process that I use to grow my account so that I could get out of speed sure trader and move over to speed trader that's the same thing I'm trying to teach you but 
what you're learning is real what you're seeing is real this is 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 not memorex it's not recorded and made to look like what is not is real you see it as it's happening all right now this was yesterday NVDA this was this, the stock I traded yesterday um, and I started the morning off shorting this in which I did I shorted this pre-market you know we like to short the rejections uh, pre-market when we get a move I missed this move and I caught it here and I was looking for a pullback down to I forgot what the level was but I think it was around 96 so I took half off here like I normally do I always lock in profits and I had my stop at that point was moved to break even which allows me to lock in whatever profits I had here so I got out we recovered and I um stopped out here at break even so I locked in that little bit I think which ended up to be about forty dollars not much but if you start in the day off forty dollars green and you're trading with a small account you can't beat that again I'm trading with 200 shares all right so we open we get this wicked candle here at the open and I think I jumped in X at the open I jumped in X too early and got ended up getting stopped out so when I left X alone I saw this was was bouncing off the VWAP so I didn't I wasn't close enough to take the trade here which is where I really should have taken it but I was being stubborn and getting stopped out of X I waited and caught it here the five minute open range breakout over the five minute high what I like to do is get in not on the high but I like to get in on the actual close of the five minute candle but this is where I normally like to get in, especially when we have VWAP and everything right here. And I've got all this support. I'm confident taking it from the opening range um, close. But I waited and I used the high this time because I missed this. And it's about being patient, sticking to your step, your setups. So I got it here and ended up taking profit taking half off here took another quarter off here I'm looking for the 200 at this point I'm looking for it to run up to the 200 took half off here took a quarter off here 50 shares and then I had a profit stop practically lined up with my first cover so that worst case scenario this last 50 shares I would still lock in some profit I'm not letting it go all the way back to break even. It doesn't make any sense. I wait, reset, and get back in just like I did here. I let it pull back, and here I'm I'm buying the bounce again. Bought it here, bouncing off the nine. Took half off here. Took a quarter off here, right over the 200. This was my target. And when we got to the red to green line, I was. I was expecting a pullback to possibly the 200 here so I so I got out here expecting a pullback so I could get back in for the push through and for this to go green on the day well it didn't this thing didn't pull back it kept going so it ran up then when we did get the pullback again I was patient I waited until we got a good confirmation unfortunately as soon as I got in this thing pulled back but my stop was wide enough to where I could let this thing work and I did I got in we pulled back got another bounce and you know had I not been maxed out you know 200 shares pretty much maxes out how much buying power I want to use on a hundred dollar stock so we got I, I couldn't add so I just waited 
took a half took a half off here. Um, got the we started pulling back. So I took it all off. So I took a hundred shares here, took a hundred shares here, and I said I'll wait and see what happens. This made a lower high. Is what happened. This made a lower high relative to this. So I thought we were pulling back. So here again, I took a short here thinking we were going to lose this, possibly pull back to the 20, the 200 here. But we didn't. I got fooled. So once we lost and claimed the the great it was going green again, I took it off. A small loss here. And I got long and this thing was just bouncing around so I just went ahead and took it off I just got out and here I got long again and had to hold through this pullback but ended up take getting some more profit out of this so we worked this I did have a lot more tickets on this than I wanted to have on it but Realized gains with 342, which is, is not bad. It's not bad at all. And you see, this one, our last trade on it was around 1230. No, around 130. Yep, I was in this up until 1 o'clock. And then once that, I shut it down. Closed my platform. And, you know, it was Friday afternoon. There's no need for me to trade. You know, I booked over a thousand dollars this week on four days, and most of it I got in two days. So you want to see? Here's what we got after commissions, because we had, you know, I did have a whole lot of tickets, and I had two stopouts, and ended up with two forty-three. And I think that was, let's see, yeah, about a 90, $99, $100 on commissions. That's because of the extra, the extra trades I had from when I got stopped out. But still, $243 is not bad off of 341 You know, realize gains, it, it's not bad. You know, yeah, I over traded, but this was a stock that I could get away with over trading on. So these are the, the type trades that I like to take. I like to start with a stock on my watch list and practically work it all morning. And if we can do that and we can come out with two or three hundred dollars a day on these trades, it won't be long before you're moving out and you're moving on because as we grow and as you develop skill and you develop your confidence the right way then you'll be able to start scaling up and when you start scaling up these profits double because when I started when I was trading with five thousand dollars a month I could double and triple my money in a month's time and it wasn't long before I was able, once I got $5,000, it wasn't long before I was able to just make a living trading five grand a month. And as we get to that point, I will demonstrate how I did it. You know, I'm not going to tell you, I'm going to show you. That's why I'm not advertising any of, anything that I did in the past is in the past. As far as I'm concerned, you're only as good as your last trade. And that's the way I look at it. And that's that's the way I live my life. It doesn't matter what I did in the past. All of that's well documented. You know, I think they still plan it. You know, at Warrior Trading. They still, somebody told me or sent me a snapshot of, they still got my picture over there. They just don't have my name on my picture. But it's what I did. And it, it's verifiable. So, but I'm not boasting that. It's you judge me based on my last trade.
that's that's the way I judge myself. And I think that's the way we need to judge ourselves in this trading, that we're only as good as our last trade. All right, so here's my social media and my contacts. Now we will, we do have a new Twitter page going up, a new Facebook page going up. Um, we'll be getting that out too. We have a new website coming out. Um, as soon as we get it ready and have everything functioning, then we'll, we will release it. But you can still be able to, these will still be active. These come to me personally. The Twitter, uh, my YouTube channel is going to stay the same. Uh, Facebook page, that's kind of my personal one. And you can email me, ed at averagejoetrader.com. Anytime you have a question, concern, you want to send something for me to look at, you know, I'm there. That's, that's what I'm here for. So that's what I have for you today. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Um, I, am, I do plan on doing another video tomorrow, kind of introducing a tool that we're going to be offering. I'm working on the final details of it right now, and that should be coming out tomorrow. So stay tuned for another video um, tomorrow that should be introducing a new tool that we're going to be offering. All right, so enjoy your weekend. Enjoy this time with family and friends. That's what the weekend's for. And to spend a little bit of the money that you made during the week. And not all of it, but you can spend a little bit of it. You remember Uncle Sam's got to get his cut too. And I will see you guys bright and early Monday morning. So we'll be starting another TGIM. So take care and I will see you then.